Hey guys, welcome back to Ready Z Plus. So it's been a, a while since I put up a since I uploaded a video. Um, but you know, life happens, <laughs> right? Anyway, today I'm not hiking. I actually just got through my uh, rugged maniac um, obstacle race in Staten Island, New York. This has been my fourth year, I believe. So anyway, I'll probably show one or two photos from that uh, event, if possible. However, about seven minutes or so from the obstacle race site is this pretty cool fort known as Fort, War fort Wardsworth, I think it's called. I'll put the photo up of the name. Anyway, outside of Staten Island, it's a pretty cool location. Uh, I think that's the Staten Island Bridge. It's a pretty cool spot. That's the fort down there that you see over my left shoulder there. It's actually raining. <laughs> but I figured I'd show you a little bit of the site. It's a pretty cool shot too. You can see all the way, I believe, into Manhattan, I think. I, I don't have no idea where I'm looking at. But across the Hudson River there, uh, I presume it's Manhattan. Brook oh, actually, okay. So that might be Brooklyn. And then, hold on, let me show you. Okay, so like I was saying, where you see those tall buildings, obviously that is Manhattan. I presume this area here is either Brooklyn or Queens. I'm not 100% sure. But it's a beautiful shot of the of this bridge here. A pretty cool vantage point that I've never seen. I've never seen a bridge up close uh, like this over the Hudson River. Amazing structure. So anyway, I'm walking down just to see where this particular pathway ends up. Actually, over my shoulder here is another part of the, the fort as well. But yeah, it's rainy, but I'm still walking. Rugged Maniac is my shirt that I won along with my cool medal. Hold on, let me see if I can show you. My Rugged Maniac. 2023 successfully completed anyway so yes i'm walking in this area here staten island um i've never ventured into staten island i've just been over here for rugged maniac and then getting the hell out of here so it's the first time i'm like venturing out so i saw online this pretty cool fort I decided to check it out I'm not sure what's a restricted area what what is and what isn't restricted but I did see some cops at some point so if I'm doing anything that is not permitted then I'm sure I'll be made aware of it but Adventure is my game. <laughs> That's what I do. So what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to hike down to, well, I don't want to say hike, because I'm in my flip-flops. I'm sure if you can see it. So I'm actually just walking down. But it did seem like, hold on. Ugh. I'm using my cell phone. Oh my God, this is crazy. Anyway, so I'm walking down to see if I can actually get a, a different or closer look at the fort from a different vantage point. Excuse me. Excuse, what's the name of this bridge? bridge? That bridge, what's the name of it? Verizano. 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 Th thank you. Yeah. So the bridge that I was, uh, pointing to is not the Staten Island Bridge. It's the Verrazano Bridge. 
as that gentleman there just informed me. I've driven over it several times, but there's so many bridges in New York. I'm like, I, you know, unless you're like, unless I was like, a, I don't know, a cab driver or something. But nevertheless, that is the Verrazano Bridge, according to my fellow solo stroller there that I just passed along the way in this rain. This is crazy. Well, hold on. I'm gonna flip this around and show you a bit of what I'm seeing. Okay, so that is the Verrazano. Goes up into the clouds. As I said, today is not a clear day. Today is a rainy day. And as such, the clouds have consumed the tippity top of the bridge. You can barely see, you can see it popping out of the clouds there a little bit. But yeah, that's how far it goes up. And then over here, that is the historical fort. I believe that's been here since 1776. And it still stands as a historical site. One of the forts, I believe, built by, I wanna say the British, right? When they colonized or when they ruled the United States. Well, I don't think it was the United States then, it was just the Americas. But yeah, a massive structure. I wonder who are the actual workmen and women on this thing. If you know, let me know in the comments. <laughs> or if you have an idea in the 1700s, who would have built these structures. See, so, yeah, I did see a uh, little, some information over there. So I'm gonna show you what it says in a second. So this fort has several structures and I believe it seems as if this particular building here is where they kept the torpedoes. Hence the term torpedo building. This structure built 1892 once held the key to New York Harbor's defense. In the late 1800s, military engineers developed torpedoes, actually mines in current military terms that could be exploded electronically from shore to positions like battery weed behind you. New York's torpedoes and their miles of cable were not permanently wired in place, but stored here until needed. The torpedo building. Man is great at destruction, aren't they? So this building here, the Battery Weed, begun in 1847, this granite structure was finally completed during the Civil War. Its four-tier design allowed up to 116 guns to, to skip cannonballs across the narrows. However, by the mid 1860s, bigger, more accurate guns were guns could destroy a stone fort like this. Compromise, it became obsolete almost before its last stones were laid. Battery weed. Granite stone structure. So back in the day, oh, by the way, that's the Rosano. What it looks like from underneath, kind of.
So I hiked down to the uh, shoreline. There's a bunch of folks fishing along the coast underneath the Verzano. Now I'm hiking back up, back to where the, uh, the fort is. But this turned out to be a very cool adventure. Very cool adventure. Hiking underneath the Verzano Bridge. I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna call this video. <laughs> Who cares about forts? The Verzano is much more popular. <laughs> oh man. Good times. And I grabbed some keepsake. I often collect rocks. It's a bit nerdy, I know, but that's what I do. So these will be my Staten Island rocks for my collection. Anyway, I'm gonna head back. <laughs> this would have been where they had those old um, cannon, cannon guns or cannons that they would fire out of sea at enemy forces, enemy ships sailing up and down in the 1800s. History is best suited to reward all our efforts. John Henry Clark. Thank you guys for walking with me. Thank you for checking out the Verzano Bridge from a different vantage point here in New York, here in Staten Island. It was a pleasure as usual. And as you always say, my friends, keep moving. Please like, please subscribe. You never know where I'll be, what I'll be doing, but rest assured, you'll learn something and you will be entertained. Again, guys, thank you for watching Red Plus. And as always, Keep moving. I will.